Is there anything evil up here? Are you gonna hurt me? Okay, I see a shadow over here. I got footsteps. I got some shit going on up here. I don't know what the hell. Oh, look, all the dolls. Is there anyone in here with me? Got footsteps coming up behind me. This is really fucked up. Good evening, my name is Lawrence, and welcome to this episode of Skeptics. Tonight, we're at the Randolph County Infirmary here in Winchester, Indiana. Built in 1852, this building was first used as a poorhouse until it burnt down. Later, it was rebuilt into the infirmary, which is the building you see standing behind me today. A poorhouse is where people go that can't take care of themselves. For example, orphans, elderly, physically and mentally disabled would all go to a poorhouse to be taken care of. Although there's no official death toll, estimates have reached over 200 people that have died on the premise. 50 of those people are scattered throughout the property in unmarked graves. Paranormal activity that has been reported here are shadow people, footsteps, gates closing, doors slamming, and even the feeling, uneasy feeling of someone following you around while you're inside. The owner even told us a story about when he was in the basement alone, he felt as if there was a man standing directly behind him. This infirmary finally shut its doors in 2009, where only the souls that haven't left are locked inside. Tonight, we've invited Angie, a non-believer of the paranormal, to investigate alone and to participate in a series of challenges that will test her beliefs and maybe change her mind about the existence of the unknown on tonight's episode of Skeptics. My name is Angie and I'm a skeptic. Well, good evening, Angie. Thank you for being part of Skeptics tonight. Not a problem. Is it true that you are a skeptic and you don't believe in the paranormal? I really don't, no. What, you've never had an experience that made you feel? I, yeah, I kind of have, I thought, but I think it was my eyes just playing tricks on me. Okay, so you kind of dismissed it. Mm -hmm. Well, tonight you're at the Randolph County Asylum, mm -hmm. one of the most haunted places and uh, we're going to send you into some of the most haunted locations here at this place and maybe we can change your mind about being a skeptic. Um, so a little bit of the history of this place is uh, it was built in 1852. Um, it started out as a poor house so anybody that couldn't take care of themselves they'd end up here. Um, they had a really big problem with tuberculosis and uh, a lot of people ended up passing away and it was the basement was made into a morgue yeah, not legally. <laughs> not legally. Not oh, legally. Wow. Um, it was for a year and then they shut it down because they found out that they just weren't doing the right stuff right. for it to be a morgue. Okay. Um, but people have, have seen shadow figures, have uh, claimed to be touched, grabbed. Um, a person was even shoved out a second story window. So um, tonight we're going to send you into some of these locations. Okay. Um, maybe we can change your mind about being a skeptic. Are you up for the challenges? Absolutely. Let's get this evening started. All right, Angie, so for your first challenge, we're gonna send you up into the attic. Uh, we had a tour here earlier, and the caretaker told us this is where he was grabbed very recently. So we're gonna send you up there. It's gonna be up the stairs. Once you get into the attic, you're gonna see the phasma box and a light sitting on a chair. Go down there and just sit in the chair. I'm gonna give you a list of questions. Feel free to Go through them all, okay? Okay. Make, make your feelings be known. Let us know what's going on. Talk okay. to the camera. Don't be shy, okay? okay? So there is a light up there. Oh, yeah. To show me where yeah, the there's a little chairs. candle lit. Okay. okay. You do. All right. You take that. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Right this way. All righty. Ooh. It's going to be right up the stairs, and when you at the top of the stairs, okay. you're going to go to the left. You'll okay. see the light, okay? I got gotcha. you. All right. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Gotcha. Ooh. Oh shit, I can't see shit. Go to the left. Uh oh, where am I at? I don't see no candle lit up here. Am I gonna fall through? Oh, I see it. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna walk straight. 
Oh, maybe. What's in my way here? All right, I don't know what that was. It might have been something moving. <coughs> I don't know for sure. I'm trying to find my little flashlight here that I don't have because I don't want to step on anything. Oh, I got reverbication. Okay. Hi, my name is Angie, guys. I'm not in here to uh, harm anyone or anything, and I'm going to be asking you some questions. Maybe you can help me out and answer those questions for me. Oh, okay. This is a little big. All right. Okay, here we go. Shall I take, this is a huge attic. Okay, let's see, let's see these questions here. Oh, shit. Okay, is there anyone here with me tonight? Can you tell me who you are? Johnny. Did I hear Johnny? Well, I really don't think I believe in ghosts. Can you prove me wrong? Can you give me your name? Should I be scared? Did you say you're malevolent? Can you come closer to me? Touch me? Should I be scared of you? Or are you scared of me? Can you make a noise? Can you tap on something, please? Who's the one that touched Ted up here? Could you say something, please? Is there anything evil up here? Shall I go back downstairs? What the hell? Okay. That kind of freaked me out. So, I need a name. <clears throat> this is just a walkie check. Can you hear me? Ooh, where's the walkie thing? Yeah, wait a minute. Well, how the hell? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm not really getting anything up here, to be honest. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Loud and clear. You're sitting in the chair um, next to the bathroom box, right? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yeah, keep asking questions. Stay up there for a little longer, please. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. We need to... Uh, can you please tell me your name? How did you die? Did somebody drop you off here and forgot about you? Did you commit suicide here? No? How'd you die? How many times do I gotta ask? I don't want to see what. Okay. Are you going to hurt me? I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to be uh, having to kick somebody's ass that I can't see. I just need to know who you are. I introduced myself. Can you introduce yours? Sorry you guys ain't introducing. Maybe you are and I just don't hear you or maybe I don't believe in you. Maybe you need to tell me your name. Are you done talking? Is that a little child I hear? Somebody coming near me. Who is that? Why is there a little boy like in the corner here crying? It looks like. And it's fake, I'm sure. Can you tell me your name? I mean, come on, guys. Let me know something. You see my hand? Okay, I see a shadow over here. That's got to be just some fucked up thing with my eyes. It's got to be. Is there anything malev up here? Anything demonic? I'm hearing something, man. I don't know. I hear birds. Okay. Hey. Uh, I heard a growl or something, dude. You heard a growl? Yeah, that's kind of what it fucking sounded like to me. Where was that growl coming from? Like right in front of me towards the stairs. So the skeptic's up there. She just heard a growl. She thinks it's coming from the 
the stairs. There's no animals in the place. We toured it earlier, made sure there's no animals in the place. What could that growl be? Hopefully, she finds out. I got some laughter as well. This is pretty common. Yeah, it's burning up. I haven't moved this much at all. Kind of froze. Who made the growl? Is anybody walking up the steps? Oh shit. That freaked me out. All right, guys, come on, talk to me. You might be talking to me, I might not understand. Were you just walking up the stairs? Did you ask who was coming up the stairs? I just asked who was coming up the stairs, yes. Need to know who come up the stairs. Is there somebody coming towards me? I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just trying to find out if you're real. I feel sorry for you, whoever was just dropped off and left by your family. Well. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? That's not fair. It's not nice either. Ooh. Can you get me out of this attic, man? I got footsteps. I got some shit going on up here. I don't know what the hell. Could be birds. Alright, why don't you come on down then? Alright. Well, since you didn't want to talk to me, I'm going to leave now. Is that what you wanted me to do? I got to find my way. Just please don't try to knock me down or push me, that wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Is there somebody following me? chance to talk and you didn't.
which way do I go here? I think I can get out. All right. God damn. Um, yeah, two growls, man. I'm not cool with two that. Two growls. Two growls. When I actually, when I first went up the stairs, it sounded like a growl, and when I was sitting there, I heard like a. Hmm. Hmm. Could have been a man clearing his throat or something, but it fucked me up for a minute. <laughs> but it, it really There's a lot you. of birds up there. Yeah. And I thought I'd seen somebody now. Whoever put the little boy, like, crying on the thing. That was there. Oh, that was fucked up. That's yeah. the first thing I seen. I was like, what the hell? Um, could you explain any of that away or? <sighs> Not convinced yet? <sighs> I thought I'd seen someone, a shadow. Um... The growl really messed me up because I heard growls. Or and like, you heard it twice. Twice. Like when I was coming up the stairs. It could have been a man clearing his throat, woman clearing his throat. Heard laughter on the little machine there. Yeah. Like little kids. Mm-hmm. That's and, common. That's yeah. actually their playhouse up there. Okay. I heard a lot of like giggling. Uh-huh. Um, her very deep voice is coming through that. Interesting. Yeah. It was like weird. Heard a lot of women. Yeah. You'll get that. Yeah, so I didn't know, like, if I was hearing, you know. You didn't know from, what you were hearing. I didn't, I, there was a bunch of people talking on that thing. I didn't know if it was like, at first it felt like a radio station. Uh -huh. I was like. It's, it, um, so what that box typically does is right. it runs through AM frequencies, That's and then it allows, uh, just like that button. It, allows, the time. it allows the spirit to easily talk to you. Okay. And that specific one cancels out the white noise, so you don't get the mm -hmm. you Okay. Know? So right. it's, it's just easier to hear. That's why we had it up there. Okay. There's a... what, what just happened? I don't know. I just heard something like a, like, like, like. Down here? Yeah. <laughs> Swear. And I am not truly, can I take a walk down through here? Sure. Because I really just heard something. I thought, like, you know, when somebody says, like, come here, but they're like, Shh. But I don't know where it came from. I heard it. Yeah, kind of like someone, like, calling you? Yeah, like, hey, like, Shh. <laughs> well, I think for your next challenge, you might be on this floor. Okay. Eventually, you will come back to this floor, so okay. maybe you get to explore that a little later, okay? Okay. Did for you sure. want me, is that just for that upstairs? That's just for the upstairs. Okay. Yep, you're now okay. How do you flip this flashlight off again? One more. There you go. Oh, I got you. Okay. You did it. <laughs> All right. Well, so we haven't scared you yet, and you're ready for your next challenge? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right, Angie, so for your second challenge, we're gonna send you down to Doris Atkins' room. Okay. It's gonna be down this corridor. You're gonna kind of see two red lights. Mm -hmm. The second red light, look to your right. You're gonna see a room with a candle in it. Go in, sit down. Obelisk should be there. Um, it's gonna spit out words for you. Okay. Uh, feel free to ask questions, and we'll go from there. Walking me when you get there, and then I'll give you further instructions, okay? okay. How far is it down there? Um, it's like two thirds down the corridor. Okay. Okay. Can I use my flashlight? I don't know if you're gonna need it. Oh, really? It's a, yeah, it's a straight lit. shot. Well, it's a straight shot. Okay. Oh, I see two see? little red lights. The yeah. second light. The second okay. one, take a right, okay? Well, I'm still going to use it just to be on the safe. <laughs> what? Okay, second light. It's a little creepy in here. Not too bad. There you have it, folks. She's made it to her second challenge. We're going to see if she can continue to be a skeptic or if we can change your mind. So is there anyone in this hallway that wants to talk to me? Oh, it must have been a kid's room. See a candle here? Okay. Okay. Oh, look, all the dolls. Great. So is there anyone in here? Did you like dolls? Dora, are you here with me? Miss Dora Atkins? Did you like dolls?
Did you die here? Were you dropped off by a family member and left? Did they mistreat you here? Can you answer? Was you a little girl or a grown woman? Can you please say something? I like your dolls. Were these all yours? Creature. Sub. So, Doris was 11 when her family abandoned her here at the asylum. Over the next 70 years, she lived her life here, cooked downstairs in the basement. The room you are in is the room that she stayed in and died in there at the age of 81. We want you to try and make contact with Doris using the obelisk we place next to you. Ask Doris questions. We will soon walk you back. The obviously or the obvious says preacher and stalk. What does that mean? Curse. Can you? Now it says can you and curse. So preacher and the floor, the bottom floor, uh, the main floor of this asylum. Um, there's two churches, one for the ladies and one for the gentlemen. Gotcha. <clears throat> Are you going to talk to me, Doris? Are you still a little girl? You were 81 when you died. And you were mistreated? Or did they take good care of you here? So you have all these pretty dolls. Did you play with them when you were a little girl? Or are these just dolls that you collected? Do you want to hold my hand? If you would like, you can... Come over and touch my arm. Sally. Sally. Who was Sally? Was that a friend? Your mom? A relative? Someone that lived here? I would really, really like to hear you talk to me. Do you care if I walk around your room? What was this in here? Your closet? Did you have a lot of clothes? I have a lot of clothes. What did you like to do? I don't think you're going to talk to me. And that really upsets me. I'm a very nice person. Let's talk. I want to know how they mistreated you. Or did they? Can you show yourself to me? I guess not, huh? I think you might be scared. You mentioned the name Sally. Is that one of your doll's names? Well, nothing. I'm not going to talk, huh? Well, I don't believe that anybody's actually seen you or talked to you because I don't hear you or see you. Can you shut the door? Was that you I heard? Or was that just me, maybe? Did you just touch that glass? Will you come over here and touch my hand? Did you move the door a little bit? Well, you're not saying a word. But I think you touched that door. And I didn't see it. That's a shame. Did I just see you peek around the door? Or is that my eyes playing tricks on me again? I don't think you exist. If I don't see you or you don't say nothing to me, how do I know you were even alive? Are you done talking? You said a few words and that was it. I'm getting nothing. Am I getting anything? Nothing. Mouse. Sign. 
Well, now somebody's talking because they're, uh, they just said sign and house. Who's Peter? Who's Peter? A pellet. A spoon. A table. Well, tell me about these things. The dolls in this room with you were Doris' dolls. The same dolls she loved and lived with. We want you to pick some of these up and move them to see if this gets Doris' attention. All right, I'm going to pick up some of your dolls. Is that okay? They're kind of pretty. Well, once, who was this? It's a rattle doll. Can I set this over here or were you specifically wanting me to not touch your dolls? I bet you didn't like anybody messing with your dolls, did you? Well, look at that one. Hmm. See what all kinds of other dolls she have here. Oh, that's a pretty one. I'm going to touch her. Is that cool? Oh, and you got a rose on it. Was this given to you? Come on, Doris. Tell me. Let me know something. Is that your handbook? Do you have a purse? This is neat. This little doll here. Is it raining? Orb. Gateway. Yeah, it's pouring cats and dogs out here. Okay, I have three words that came across. Gateway, orbs, and world. Cow, bird. Did you like listening to the rain door? Who's Jackie? Is that another doll? Did you just sigh in my ear? Is that what I heard? How close are you guys to the door? Planet. We're not any near, anywhere near where you are. I hear uh, talking. Coming from somewhere, I'm not sure. Below. Do you belong to someone? Yeah, we're not anywhere near you. Okay. Well, I'm not getting much out of this room at all. All right. We also placed Doris's Bible next to the area mm -hmm. that you're sitting. If you flip to the first couple pages, you can see, first page, you can see your name. Read a few verses from the Bible out loud and see if this provokes a response. 10 4. Do you care if I read out of your book? And I'll see my name. Oh, you'll see her name. When morning glides, our guilds disguise. When morning guilds disguise, my heart awaken cries. When sleep, her balm do my demise, my silent spirit sighs. This sadness fill my mind, a solace here I find. That must have been you sighing in my ear, huh? Is that what that was? Can I go through a few more pages? Was there a favorite one of yours? Did you sing these all the time? Did you believe in Jesus? Did you believe in God? Were you very spiritual at all? Tell me, Doris, does God exist? You're not even going to talk to me, are you? You just must not like me. Let's see here. His eyes on the sparrow. This is Mark, Doris. Was this one of yours? Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should, why should my, I hope I'm, why should my heart be lonely? and long for heaven and home, when Jesus is my portion. My constant friend is he. 
His eyes is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. His eyes are on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Does he watch you? Are you with him? So, you said bird. So did you want me to read this about the sparrow? The sparrow's a bird. It's just why I asked that. Well, I've read through your book. Was this your favorite? I want to know where the talking came from. Hmm. Did that door just move? Oh yeah, there's talking. Uh, what's this button going off mean? It's too close to that ramp out, that's all that means. Why is it still going off? How There's talking at the end of the hall. Talking at the end of the hall. Yeah, but it wasn't no Doris. She wouldn't even talk to me. But there's chatter? Yeah, Did I you know talk I back? heard a man. Oh. It was a man. What did they say? I couldn't understand what he said. Like, but I heard a man. I thought it was you guys. That's no, why. we're down here. We yeah, weren't okay. even anywhere near any of that. That, uh, there is a, there's so a voice. So how was that experience? I moved some dolls, talked to her. Ask her why her family didn't want her, why she was just dropped off, you know, how old is she? Or, uh, how did I say that? How old is she now? Uh, 81 when she died, how, you know, you were 11 when your mm -hmm. family dropped you, they just didn't want you. Touch my hand, touch my arm, shut a door. Let us know you're here. Let us know. I thought I seen a shadow peek in the closet. I'm not sure that might, you might catch that. I could have been a something on this. But it, it got your attention, though. Yes, it did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Any growling this time? Or nope, no, didn't hear that. No. I just heard a man talk, okay. and I knew it was a man. But uh, what was that little thing you said beside me? That was kept on saying words. Owlisk. Okay, it was like Peter. Then it said table, spoon, fork, it, all kinds of stuff. Spoon, fork. But she used to be a cook for this this utility, so that makes okay, sense. That, yeah. Okay, and then. Um, but the man speaking on, on this side, it was, this yeah. is a all woman's. There's no, the other side was men's. This okay, is well an this all was side. way, way, like, is this a picture of this? Yeah. Hall? Yep. It was like back here. So this is where um, they would do um, church and stuff. Okay, maybe well, that was. So a preacher, maybe. Okay, yeah. I did hear a curse. Okay. Something about a curse. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that's about it. Still a skeptic? Kind of. Kind of? I mean, I want to see something. If, Good. You know, Let's if get I you into that it, next challenge then. Right on. All right. I'm okay. <laughs> all right, Angie. So for your third challenge, we're going to send you into the basement alone, okay. all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Just a lone flashlight. Try not to use it. Uh, what, what we want you to do is, is investigate yourself. Right. And, and walk around, go to every room, see if you can pick anything up. Walk us, let us know how you're feeling. If anything happens, if you hear anything, let us know. How many rooms are in there? Uh, a lot. Oh, hell. A so lot. I'm walking the whole basement? Yeah, just explore. All righty then. <laughs> does, it, does that sound okay with you? I'll give it a shot. All right, you're gonna go this way and then it's right around that corner. Okay. And you're gonna go right down to the darkness. Can I use flashlight for? To get downstairs, sure. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, okay. So are we going left? So I'll be going left? Yep. And then head down that corridor. I gotcha. And this was like a morgue. Right? Uh, down here is uh, World War II where, where people were put. Okay. All right. Is there anyone down here with me? Hello? Is there anyone here? Oh man, that's dark. 
just rain. Hello? Okay, here's a candle. Am I supposed to go in this room? Whose room was this? there's any significance to this room. I still have to use this flashlight. Oh wow. Okay. Is there anything in here? Were you in war? Did they bring you here to... Um, hold on. Yeah, I like the candles that you guys been putting up for me, like up in the attic and stuff. Yeah, was that on? Yes. So we didn't turn that up. No, I did not. I don't know if I can do this basement <laughs> for real. I feel very nauseated, lightheaded. Keep going. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. You're a skeptic. You're not supposed to believe in any of this. I shouldn't be sick either. <laughs> All right, what's going on here? Some doors closed. Can I open these doors? What's, oh shit, what's this room? Is this a room or what is this? What is this? Is there anyone here with me? Are you guys wanting to talk or do you want to tell me about what you've experienced through war? This is really fucked up. What's this big room back here for? The big room in the back of the basement is the kitchen. Got you. Before the kitchen is the dining area. I'm tripping out. <laughs> feel very uneasy. I don't know if I can do all this. Is there anyone here that would like to speak with me? I mean you no harm. If you would like to, you can touch my hand. Can anybody hear me up here? Just want to talk to me? Little closet. How are you doing down there, Angie? Still feel kind of sick. Kind of weirded out a little bit. If you keep moving, hopefully the sickness, when you get out of that area, uh, it won't be with you anymore. Let me know how you feel as you continue on, okay? Gotcha. Got footsteps coming up behind me. I'm fucking freaking out now. I can't do this basement, guys. I'm serious. There's too much going on, I think, for me.
That means I'm freaking the fuck out right now because there's footsteps back in that kitchen. I don't want to go any further on that. Okay, well, don't go back into the kitchen, but see if you can try to go to other places if you feel comfortable enough. Okay. Let's go up through here, maybe. What's this room? They got a stripper pole down here. Where's this broom? Where's the broom located? I believe that was the room with the candle in it that you saw earlier. If you were to go back to that candle and look up, you should see the broom. I see. I see. I'm lost, kinda. I'm going back down here to where I heard the <coughs> footsteps. Like I was getting bum rushed. Yeah, guys, get me out of this fucking basement, man. There's something here. Can you come up and take a breather and see how you feel once you get back up here, okay? Do you know? Yeah, I got the stairwell. I know where it's at, I believe. Okay, I think I'm going up the right way. Dude, <laughs> oh, no fucking way I'm going back down here. What happened? Uh-uh. Footsteps, movement, all that. Yeah, there's fucking something down there. So does that mean you're not skeptic? I don't think so anymore when you're hearing shit like that. My heart's beating. I feel sick to my stomach. I felt bad down there. Do you feel better when you're up here? Yeah, I feel a little better now. I mean, my heart's still racing. I mean, you can feel right. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucked up down there. Do you want to take a minute? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. All Take right. a minute. That's weird down there. I don't. I don't like that feeling. Did you guys go down there? I've been down there. He. We've all been down there. We had a Did tour. Did you earlier. like the feeling down there? Um, it was daylight when I was down there. Oh, okay. So. Different vibe. Swear right. to God, different vibe at night. Right. Yeah, because back in that kitchen, I started walking back this way, and it was like. Oh, you actually heard shuffling. Yeah, I heard shuffling. Like people were walking towards me. That's where Doris spent. The majority of her life right in that kitchen cooking. So it could have been her. I said, I, I mentioned her name. Mm -hmm. Anything come up? <laughs> I didn't hear anything except for the except shuffling. For the shuffling. And, yeah. And that I was right behind you? I asked if there was any guys, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that's, I was always uh, <laughs> over my shoulder because when I started walking back his way, it's when I heard the shuffling behind me. Okay. And I was like, oh, get me out of here. What? I even ditched into a room because oh, I, was, I really? thought there was really somebody coming for me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Man. it messed me up. Okay. Thanks, Adam, for moving me into it. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah, where where was that candle? Um, so direct me if you two can. Two or three rooms down on the left-hand side, left there's side. like a, there was a candle lit, like the ones that been like in the attic, the ones that you had up there in like a, what are they? Little LED? Yeah, like yep, little guys. It was. We didn't place any of those down there. It was flickering. Didn't place. There was no candles mm -hmm. in that room no for shit. months. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go check right now because Swear we don't God. have anything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here, you want the flashlight? Uh, you want to come with me? I'll go with you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, Angie, clearly you're shooken up. Do you want to tell us your events of the night, starting from the beginning and then ending up into the basement? Well, uh, first in the attic, I heard uh, it could have been a clearing of the throat, but I thought it was a growl twice. Um, thought I seen something like a shadow of some sort. Um, there's a boy, like a doll. And that really freaked me out at first. Um, I heard a lot of voices coming through I couldn't make out what they were really saying, but um, it answered a question of mine. And I said, oh, should I be scared or something? I don't know, you guys can rewatch it. <clears throat> Doris's room, nothing ever happened. Um, but I did hear what sounded like gentlemen talking towards the end of the hallway. Okay. Um, the basement, no, I'll probably never do that again. I heard a shuffling um, got really, 
my stomach just hurt, my head started to hurt, and I just felt uncomfortable. Then I heard some shuffling, like somebody was following me. So I always felt like somebody was watching me or following me. Yeah, and, clearly you were disturbed. Yeah, I, I think I was trying to cut out of there three different times. <laughs> I tried to push on, but it just, it went, I couldn't, one corridor, I couldn't even walk down. So it, it just, it, I believe that there might be something out there now. I don't think okay. I'm such a skeptic anymore. That was my next question and the most important question. Yes. Are you still a skeptic after tonight? No. So we've turned a so. skeptic into a believer. Yes, I do believe. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on Skeptics and Absolutely. being a part of tonight. We're happy to, you know, encourage you to yeah. believe. Yeah. So if you guys ever need me again, I'll do that. But never send me to a basement. But not to the basement. Okay. <laughs> no, never. Right. Well, thank you for being a part of it. Thank you you're for welcome. having me. Oh, you're welcome. It's my nice meeting all you guys. <laughs> oh, it was a pleasure having you. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Tonight has been amazing. We have turned another skeptic into a believer. She has had more experiences here than she could explain away. With the light coming on, growling, and even someone walking behind her, she said downstairs. Would you have been able to spend the night here alone and participate in these challenges? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see future episodes of Skeptics. Until next time, sleep tight America.